Hey, welcome to Water Baby Tarot. This is the December crystal healing video for fire signs for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So for those who are new to my channel or new to these kind of videos that I do, uh, basically I use this deck. The Crystal uh, Wisdom Healing Oracle deck to basically see what crystals will be beneficial for you for the month of December for any healing purposes or any kind of shit that might go down, okay? Then I go ahead and pull some tarot cards. Very brief. I don't even go into clarifiers just to kind of see the gist of why you really need these crystals. And I always read the descriptions, by the way within the book so that you guys can decide for yourself if it's really meant for you. No need to go and buy crystals if you don't really need them, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So who's gonna, who's gonna dominate? Aries, Leo, or Sag? Who's going first? Aries, Leo, or Sag? I did just do my hair, so, you know, it's still very wet. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Leo, I feel like you're calling me. Let's go into your energy here. <clears throat> What crystals do my Leos need for the month of December? And actually, I'm hearing amethyst. That's interesting. So it'll be interesting to see if that comes out, but I'm actually hearing amethyst. Um, you could be really feeling the need for some like, extra protection right now. Um, or just need a little love on yourself. Um, amethyst is a really nice, I would almost consider it a universal stone, to be honest with you. Uh, very similar to quartz. It just does a lot. It does a lot. Like I said, it's really great for uh, vibing high, for those love vibrations. It's also good for protecting yourself, uh, repelling any negative energies. It's great for cleansing as well. Um, I feel like you need to love on yourself, Leo, in the month of December. I also feel like you kind of... Mm, I'm also feeling like you want to be away from people right now. Ooh, aura lights. I'm actually wearing this one. Hat, aura lights. <clears throat> Let's see what other ones want to come out here. It's funny because Oralite looks a lot like Amethyst, if you can see it. That's what it looks like. Um, yeah, I feel like you're, you're feeling the need to be away from people and kind of be in your own energy in the month of December. I think you're feeling a little overwhelmed by festivities. That's definitely for some of you. A little overwhelmed by festivities. I do feel a little bit of family strife as well. Leo, our family upsetness. Pretty, pretty typical for the holidays. But it's just become too much. It's almost to the point where it's just intruded on your energy a little bit. It's like you need to bathe in your own energy. What other crystals do my Leos need for the month of December? What other crystals do my Leos need for the month of December? What other crystals do my Leos need for the month of December? I got one other one out here. Ooh, ancestral light. Oh, family shit. <laughs> like I said, I was feeling that family vibe there. All right, so you guys got two. That's not too bad. Sorry, my voice is also very in and out today. Uh, but let's go ahead and read these off so you guys can decide for yourself if you really need them or not. Aura light, the soul connector. Aura light 23 has a sedative effect on the mind, stilling it so that the profound healing and conscious, conscious connection with your soul, the universal mind and higher dimension occurs. You are a multi-layered soul on a course of accelerated spiritual growth. You came to earth to share your knowledge. You have an ability to move between different dimensions to anchor new vibrations into the earth plane. The slowness and seeming impossi impossibility of this task has brought disillusionment and discontent, but do not despair. Raise your own consciousness and others will follow. Recognize that you are an integral part of humanity. Center yourself in inner peace and connect to your higher mind before making a decision. Beneficial contacts come through friends and family. It is not so much what you know as whom that counts now, and that includes higher beings. Aligning to as above, so below, as without, so within, leads to a sense of rightness and immense well-being. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. It's great for the soul star and stellar gateway. Um, it's also great for Aquarians and reconnection of ego, soul, and higher consciousness. So a little bit of realigning here is needed, needed Leo. <laughs> and like I said, I was kind of feeling that. Like you kind of, come back. Like you're almost feeling the need to even just bathe in your own energy. I, I just feel like you've had a lot of intrusive energy around you, even in November. And I feel like that's gonna continue into December unless you act actively take action. That's not the way to say that. Unless you proactively take some action here in order to um, incubate yourself a little bit. I don't know my words, I know. All right, Ancestor Light. Ancestor Light has been radically modified during its time on Earth. It helps you to find the treasures hidden in your past. It takes healing way back and brings forward soul learning, rolling it into the future, but letting go of the experiences that, it, that created it. Any dis-ease you are carrying is ancient and has passed down through the ancestral line. It relates to prevailing attitudes and forbidden emotions that have been kept from firmly been kept firmly repressed 
as well as to ancient traumas and family dramas. Take note of your dreams. Family secrets come to the surface. A radical rethink is called for on all that you think and you believe and allow yourself to feel. The ancestors are all those who have gone before you, not just your bloodline. Heal them and heal yourself. The frequency of the stone is earthy. It's great for all chakras and for manifesting the gifts from the past. Oh boy, Leo. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. Pull a few cards and see why you need these crystals. Of course, as I start channeling, I get nasally. Ugh. It seriously only happens when I'm working now. Ugh. Very annoying. Okay. Why do my Leos need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my Leos need these crystals for the month of December? I keep feeling protection, and it's interesting because these crystals are not exactly about protection, but I feel like there's just some family shit that's really throwing you off. Yeah, I'm just getting incubate and protect your energy. It's going to help you align, and for some of you, who, some of you might be dealing with an ascension as well in the month of December. Why do my Leos need these crystals for the month of December? You've outgrown your, you've outgrown your group. That's what I just heard. You've outgrown your group. That's interesting. It's only going to be for some of you. Why do my Leos need these crystals for the month of December? I feel stubborn energy behind that as well. Yeah, Ace of Wands in reverse. It's something, something is like pittered out. Your passion for, some, I feel like for people. Yeah, I feel like your passion for the people around you, it's pittered out. It's pittered out. It's tired. It's done. You're over it. You're looking for new. You're looking for inspiration again. And yeah, I really feel, Leo, that you're being influenced a lot by your environment and specifically the people around you and also heavy, heavy family vibrations that are really affecting you on your path here. You need to go and find what, what lights your fire again. And once you get aligned, you can do that. And once you get away from these people, you can do that. Why do my Leos need these crystals? Leo, th this could be you or someone you're connecting with. Someone's also wondering if like, if someone's lost passion for them, like in a sexual way. Why do my Leos need these crystals for the month of December? Ooh, and there it is. Oh, 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 what did I say about family? Seven of Swords with the Emperor. Emperor's Aries energy, Taurus. For me, as a as a reader, it could also be Scorpio because it is Mars, right? Uh, Emperor's Mars, well, oh, Empress is Venus, okay? Now we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Emperor could be a father figure, grandfather figure, like a patriarchal figure. Uh, with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, with the Seven of Swords, this could definitely be that there's been some... Someone's been up to no no good in a family situation. Could also be at work. Like a boss figure has been up to no good. Oh, I really don't like this energy, Leo. Yeah, I kept I kept feeling protection. I kept feeling needing to protect your energy. We're gonna dive in. We're gonna dive into this a little bit. I don't usually do clarifiers for these kind of spreads because I have to like do so many. But I I might. That's screaming at me. You know, and I've been getting heavy vibes like this recently about, like, family and money shit. Let me just get sucked into this a little bit. I'm hearing a lot of talking. Like, there's a lot of gossiping. There's a lot of whispering. And I do feel it's around work or family. Family more so than work. Yeah, there's, like, a lot of gossiping and whispering, I feel, about this emperor about this emperor oh oh leo there might be a secret coming out about this emperor within your family situation or your work situation specifically um people are gossiping i can feel it people are gossiping about this person like are they doing this or you think they're doing that like hmm. they either know this emperor's game or they're assuming this emperor has some kind of game one or the other, but it's gossip. So you know how gossip goes. Take it with a grain of salt, right? It is gossip. It could be someone who also runs their own business here. Yeah, Leos, if you run your own business, people are talking. People are talking. Uh, 
Uh, any other messages for my Leos need these crystals for the month of December? Some of you might might leave a work situation because of this gossipy shit and because you're, you're wondering if you're not really passionate about it anymore. Why do my Leos need these crystals for the month of December? Some of you might just like ditch your family because it's a lot of low vibrational energy. I feel like people get involved when they're not supposed to. <laughs> family does that, right? Overall energy, we do have justice, Libra energy here. So someone could be getting a divorce, not necessarily, but that could be it. Um, Emperor could be a judge, justice could be the legal system, court system, Ten of Pentacles in reverse could be a big payout or a loss of money or a loss of foundation, a loss of a marriage or a loss of a home here, okay? Um, it's all centered around this emperor. I feel like the, the spotlight is on this emperor and Leo. I do kind of feel like this is you, even if you're a female. Like I said, it can be vice versa. It could be someone in your family or someone you're connecting with here. But the, um, sorry, I was just getting all kinds of words here. Balance is going to happen. Balance will be restored because it has to be restored karmically. It has to be restored karmically. And that means the spotlight has to be on this emperor is what they were just telling me. It has to be on this emperor. Yeah, we're going to clarify this, Leo, because this feels a little intense. Okay, this feels a little intense. Um, yeah, I'm really curious about the Seven of Swords energy. Let me use Cosmic for this one. What's the Seven of Swords here for? <laughs> As I was like, oh, I'm not going to clarify, guys. Yeah, let's go ahead and clarify. Let's go ahead and clarify. So I have the Seven of Swords attached to this emperor. Why the Seven of Swords attached to this Emperor? Why the Seven of Swords attached to this Emperor? And I feel like it could go either way. Like, this Emperor either is up to shit, and that's coming to light, and so justice will be served according to whatever bullshit they've been up to, or there's so much gossiping around this Emperor that it's like, they're being made to look deceptive and justice will come out that they're not but let's take a look at the seven of swords here ace of wands oh <laughs> oh who uh yeah this um, this emperor this emperor is gonna have a lot of change coming up here this emperor i feel like the seven of swords is really just about them trying to get their fire back like i said leo you're you're really wanting your fire here and whatever situation you're leaving behind it's like you got to be sneaky about it. You got to be sneaky about it because people are talking. You got to be sneaky about it because people are talking. We have two wands in reverse, um, Aries energy and five of pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. Wherever it is you're going, Leo, or whatever change you're making here, um, you feel lonely wherever you're leaving from, okay? Even if you're surrounded by people, which I do feel the sense that you are in this work environment or family environment, because a lot of people are talking, a lot of people are gossiping around you. Um, but you feel kind of like on the outskirts, you feel a little bit like a black sheep, a little bit just like almost unwanted, almost unwanted in a way. And two ones in reverse is you making that decision to change, to basically change your circumstance. But that's why the seven of swords is here. It's like, you're tired of people gossiping, which can also just be very deceptive and, and cause illusions, right? Where it doesn't need to be. Or you're actually having to sneak away because people are talking way too much and you're just tired of it, but you're looking for your fire. Play more for the Seven of Swords. Play more about the Seven of Swords. Oh, interesting. We got a Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn energy could also be Earth or uh, Water here. This is usually like a business owner or it's a very um, loyal spouse or partner. I'm feeling business though. I feel money attached to this person. Like I said, Leo, you could just be going from one job to the next here or one household to another or you're leaving a family situation and you're just trying to find your tribe elsewhere because some of you are definitely leaving a group of people behind because you just don't resonate with them anymore. But this person feels very warm, very receptive, very open. You could be wanting to go into business with this person. Ooh, interesting. Seven of Cups, Scorpionic Energy. Why do I feel confusion? Leo, because this is like a crazy little story here. Leo, because I feel like I feel like because you're moving in secret or you're moving sneakily here, uh, this Queen of Pentacles might might be a little confused, okay? My, yeah, they don't really know exactly what you're up to. 
Just be cautious of how you're moving, Leo, because I can sense you're causing confusion, not just to this person, but also to the people you want to confuse, like the people gossiping about you. So remember the Seven of Swords. By the way, you got two sevens out here. Uh, three sevens. Seven of Swords. This Queen of Pentacles might not be so receptive here, okay, Leo? So just be mindful of that because you're moving in secret. Anytime anyone moves in secret, it, it sets off the alarm bells for everybody, right? Even if it's for the right reasons. Even if it's for the right reasons. Overall energy, we do have the Prince of Swords, which is like the Knight of Swords. Gemini energy could also be fire or air. Yeah, movement. Movement and communication. Movement away from a situation that is really just not... It, you've outgrown it. You've outgrown it. You've outgrown it. You're ready for the next. You're ready for the thing that lights you up or the person that lights you up. But I do feel like this is more of a business move than anything else. Yeah, I feel like it's more of a business move than anything else. But like I said, for some of you, it's also about getting back to a tribe that you resonate with. Okay. All right. So putting that back. So Leo, there you go. That was your that was your little spread for December. So let's go ahead and do let's see who we have. We have Aries and Sag. Aries and Sag. Aries and Sag. Aries, Sag, Aries. I feel Aries are winning. Yeah, let's do Aries. Let's do Aries here. What crystals do my Aries need? What crystals do my Aries need for the month of December? Aries, Aries. I'm hearing the word galore. That's interesting. Like just by itself is kind of a weird word, you know, because it's like in context, it could like be so powerful, but I'm just hearing galore. Galore, are you at a buffet? Oh, 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 no, Aries, selenite and black tourmaline, you're putting on the hefty, hefty need for protecting yourself. Is everybody needing to protect themselves in December? Seriously, very, very intense little protective uh, stones right here, okay? Uh, I'm mostly getting that um, your intuition needs to be amped up here. You need to be on alert. You need to be on the alarm system quite a bit, Aries. Is someone gonna intrude your space? Aries, I feel like in December, you're gonna be um, dealing with at least one person, maybe more. I feel like it's really just one though, um, that you really don't wanna be dealing with. <laughs> you really don't wanna be dealing with, you really don't trust. Yeah, you really don't trust. I feel like this person makes you really angry. What other crystals do my Aries need for the month of December? I can't believe those two came out together. Like. I've seen a lot of different like jewelry pieces with these two stones together because they're great together for protection and repelling negative energies. Yeah, that's it. That is it, Aries. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. I, I gotta be honest, Aries, it does feel a little bit like a blast from the past, okay? I don't like the phrase they're giving me because I don't think it's an accurate depiction, but it's kind of like, I think it's just because they make you angry. It's like they're coming back to bite you in the ass. But I don't think you actually did anything, Aries. I think it's more just like, this is back and I have to deal with this person. Why do I have to deal with this person? I think it just makes you that upset, okay? I don't think you did anything wrong. I don't think you did anything wrong. So black tourmaline protection. Black tourmaline absorbs negative energy and affords excellent energetic protection, enhancing your physical vitality. You are adaptive, adjusting to new places and new situations. You have clarity of thought and analyze situations rapidly. Let go of overconsciousness, but stay protected. You sense it when people wish you ill. You may be carrying a family or past life curse, creating disease. Recognize that negative thoughts and actions harm and actions harm others and yourself. Strengthen your protection, consolidate plans and be realistic. You'll soon see the way through obstacles. Ensure you are well protected. Ill wishing or envy may be directed your way. Neutralize bad energy without harm to others. Watch your thoughts. Attend to practical matters, be generous, and give others freedom. Neutralizing toxic energies from your environment, shielding yourself from ill-wishing or EMF stress, and detoxifying your body supports well-being. The frequency of the stone is earthy. It's great for the root chakra on the earth star, great for Capricorns, and appropriate energy shielding and enhancement here. Oh boy. Aries, I'm kind of scared to pull cards for you. <laughs> okay, selenite. Divine light. In the ancient world, Sanai protected against wanderings of the mind and evokes mental clarity and divine inspiration. Spirituality is vital for you. You are a translucent, a translucent soul who moves fluidly through time. Use insights wisely. Avoid confusing past with present. You see into people's hearts to what motivates them. 
Do not be manipulated or too eager to please. Stand by what you know. You have the gift of clarity and mental flexibility with the power to make excellent decisions. A situation is unpredictable no matter how solid it appears. Be prepared for challenges and changes. Banish confusion. Clarity is needed. Allow divine light to inspire the future. Let go of something dear to you. Parting does not mean loss of love. Reconciliation is possible. Make the first move. Overheard conversations enlighten you. Being in the flow strengthens your well-being. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. Great for the highest crown, soul star, and stellar gateway. For Taurians and Cancerians. And for shining divine light on the earth. Oh boy. Alright, Aries. Let's pull some cards. Hold on. Is my hair dry yet? <laughs> Give me a second, guys. Oh, it's getting there. It's getting there. Slowly but surely. Okay. All right, Aries. Oh. Why do Aries need these crystals for the month of December? I'm hearing the word picnic. That is so weird. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was like, that is just such a weird word. It's like, it's fall slash going into winter, like picnic. Oh. Oh, Okay. Oh, that made me nauseous. Okay, so I know why they gave me that word now, and they just gave me some visuals. Um, <laughs> what I'm about to say about the word picnic might be a little upsetting to you guys, so I just want to give you a heads up. It might trigger some of you. Um, so whether it's been proven or not, there's been a lot of discussion as to the origin of the word picnic. Um, but back in the day, uh, picnics were a big, a big gathering around... Um, lynchings okay um Aries I feel like someone wants to crucify you okay I feel like that's why I came out here um I feel like it's almost like someone's trying to like gather the troops or get, like gather people up or get people riled up about you in a negative way to come after you not in like a physical harm way I just mean like to crucify you like whether to embarrass you uh, publicly or embarrass you in front of your partner or embarrass you and your family or your friends or just try to throw you under the bus at work like that kind of energy like someone wants to crucify you God. okay why do my Aries need these crystals for the month of December I don't like that Aries I don't like that at all I do not like that I can't rem I did the monthly already for patreon and I can't remember what it was about but I remember feeling it was not awesome um, let's see, like, not like, you know, super happy, happy, right? <laughs> it kind of like this, actually. I think, I really feel like it might be very similar. Anyway, anyway, Aries, back to you. Why am I Aries in these crystals for the month of December? Why do Aries need these crystals for the month of December? Oh boy, we got a King of Swords. Aqu I just heard order. I heard order. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. This is someone who doesn't fuck around. This is someone who takes the emotion out of things. Very logical, very smart, very strategic. A big planner here. The sword is up. I feel like this Perkin. Perkin. What's a Perkin? <laughs> I feel like this person has a lot to say. Aries, this could be you, it could be someone else. I just, I felt the word like order. They've got a lot to say. I feel like they're talking to a lot of people. Whoever this is. I don't like it though. It's, it's, it's making chills go down my spine. Why do, what did I say about people? Three of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, rallying the troops here. This is getting people together. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. This could all be going down in the workplace. The devil. <laughs> Capricorn energy. Okay. I mean, th that I don't even need to explain that. That says it all with all the energy we just were talking about. Why do my Aries need these crystals for the month of December? And there you are, Aries. In reverse, Aries energy could also be Aquarius because it's a Uranus card. Aries, I feel like you're on the verge of doing some great shit or you're trying to do great shit. Whoever this is, they want to get people together to stop you. Look at that. That looks pretty horrible, doesn't it? They're literally talking to people, planning with people on 
like trying to block you trying to block your path trying to make sure you don't get to go off and be the fool that you don't get to go off and start awesome happy cool things here i do feel like you have your yeah i really feel like you're in a really good place aries someone here doesn't like it i don't know who this person is to you but they don't like it they do not like it why do my aries need these crystals the month of december why do aries need these crystals the month of december yeah, careful who you talk to at this time, Aries. Why do my why do my Aries need these crystals? The month of December. Wow, over energy. We have Nine of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. Someone's really disappointed in this. I feel like it's this King of Swords. I feel like they're really disappointed. Um, I feel like it might not work. To be honest with you, Aries, I feel like whatever their plan is, whoever they're getting together to to do this shit to you or to block your path or block your way, I don't think it's gonna work. I feel ill wishing, like actual ill wishing here with this Nine of Cups in reverse. Ill wishing on you. They're holding something against you. It could just be pure jealousy, honestly. It could be pure jealousy, but the fact that they're a King of Swords. Oh, that's just someone who's really smart. I guess that's why it's bothering me. Like, it's not like this person is acting out of like pure rage and passion like like a knight of wands or a king of wands in reverse no this is someone who's like cold and calculating you know that's what bothers that's what bothers me about it it's someone who's cold and calculating what's underneath the nine of cups we have the moon in reverse yeah i feel ill wishing here and both the moon in reverse um yeah, it's clarity and reason. Yeah, Aries, I feel like they're not going to be able to pull it off, okay? I really feel like they're not able to. And whatever you're stepping into that they don't want you to step into, okay? Um, I feel like it's meant for you. I feel like it's meant for you here. This might be someone you tried to leave behind, Aries. Maybe wherever it is you're going, you can take them with you. And they're like, oh, fuck that. <laughs> you know, fuck that. No, we're going to get Aries. No, I'm going to make sure Aries can't do shit. I'm going to make sure Aries can't leave. I want to make sure they can't leave. I don't feel magic. If you know that's part of your situation, then you already know. Um, but they just want to. They just want to stop you. They want to stop you. They want to stop you. I feel a lot of ill wishing. They might even like come to your come to your house or like be in your home environment. If they are, it's like they're sitting there like seething negative thoughts and negative energy at you, whether you're aware of it or not. Yeah, try to not put, have this person in your home if you can avoid it. Because they're so of the mind. A king of swords is all of the mind. They're so of the mind that I feel like that's all they think is like hate, 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 hate. <laughs> you know, like ill wishing, ill wishing, ill wishing. Yeah, just stay away from this person, Aries. I think you would already know who it is if this is resonating with you. Okay? Yuck. All right. Sag! <laughs> Sagittarius! How are you guys for December? By the way, happy birthday, Saggy. Happy birthday. You're feeling a lot more lighthearted than Aries and Leo, okay? <laughs> feeling a lot more lighthearted. Oh, well, shaking that off. Sag. What crystals do my Sagittarians need for the month of December? Yeah, you guys are feeling way, way more, way more happy than Leo or Aries. Not, not to like, you know, sorry, Leo and Aries. It just is what it is, right? It just is what it is. Plus, it is Saggy's birthday. Every time we have a birthday, our 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 cycle we go into a brand new cycle for the year. Okay, always changes our energy, whether you celebrate it or not. But that's another reason to celebrate it. It is a change of a cycle. Anyway, Saggy, what crystals do my Saggies need? I think they're showing me Malachite. It's definitely for the sacral. I'm also hearing heart healing, heart healing. Uh, Saji, I just heard the word forgiveness. Uh, oh, interesting. Okay, so you're feeling pretty good. You're you're in a high vibe state, Sag. But I feel like some of you are gonna are gonna be uh, faced with a situation where you're gonna have to practice a lot of compassion. Okay, and learn and learn to forgive someone. Um, could even just be yourself. Healing that is part of heart healing. What crystals do my Sagis need for the month of December? What crystals do my Sagis need for the month of December? What crystals do my Sagis need for the month of December? 
Oh, whoa. Chrysocolla. Practically looks like Malachite, so that's funny. Maybe I just didn't see the right thing. Uh, and then we have Tiger's Eye. Ooh, Saggy. Do I feel money? Do I feel money in abundance coming your way, Sag? I think I do. I'm pretty sure I am feeling that with these two combinations right here. Let's see what else we have. I just heard ambition as well. You gotta make some space, Sag, is what I'm getting. Uh, this forgiveness that I was sensing, forgiveness and compassion towards somebody, it's creating more energe energetic space for good shit to come in here. And I do feel for some of you that's like career and money. But I am hearing ambition, ambition. What other crystals do my Sagis need for the month of December? Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and read these for you guys. Come on. Oh, did I miss it? Wait a minute. Why can't I count? Where's, okay, there it is. It's like, I know it's here. All right, Tiger's Eye. Tiger's Eye symbolizes prosperity and encourages right use of power. It balances your needs with those of others finding solutions a child of the sun and earth with untold powers you make your own fate assert yourself wisely bring hidden talents to the fore and accept your imperfections there is a tendency toward obsessiveness or becoming spaced out ground yourself explore your past lives to discover causes of these traits deal sensibly with day-to-day -day reality and face challenges boldly unlock your creativity find prosperity and lasting success Long journeys and celebrations lie ahead. Your personal power, confidence, and energy are high. Use them wisely. Commit to goals. Distinguish between wishful thinking and what you really need. Assist friends to gain their heart's desire. Past lives throw light on current situations. Doing what gives you joy increases your well-being. The frequency of the stones earthy to high depending on the color. Great for the third eye and the solar plexus and for Leos and Cappies and becoming empowered. Oh, I like that for you, Sag. Especially for your birthday season. All right, so then let's do Chrysocolla. Tranquil and sustaining. Chrysocolla encourages you to remain serene and strong during change or challenge. Dissolving destructive emotional programming, it increases energy assimilation. You have infinite capacity for forgiveness. <laughs> love yourself if you cannot accept yourself you cannot give love or accept the love of others to heal your emotional black hole oh geez that sounds so dark to heal your emotional black hole connect to the universal love that is inside you it never runs out you can give then give you can then give love out to the world and receive it in a never-ending flow forgive yourself Accept the equanimity that what you cannot change. Let go of hurt and rectify situations that can be healed. Be magnanimous. Remain impartial and speak your own truth, but recognize when to keep silent. Magical rituals keep, may keep you chained to the past. There may be past life trauma to heal around being a woman. Bitter, I'm feeling that sacral energy with that. Uh, bitterness and self-doubt have no place in well-being. It is good to nourish your body with self-love and gentleness. The frequency of the sun is earthy. Uh, it cleanses and activates all the chakras. Great for Taurians, Geminis, and Virgos, and loving and valuing yourself. Oh, Sag, I really like it. So clearly, like I said, forgiveness is playing a role here. It did come up in these. Uh, oh, it did come up with these stones. Uh, this forgiveness might be a repetitive cycle that you've had in your past life. Okay, with someone that you've been interacting with for many lives. Actually, let me get a little water first. Mm. Okay, so let's get into it, Sag. I'm getting Aries and Gemini. <clears throat> Why do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of December? Oh, okay. This is only going to be for a few of you, not all of you. I don't think you're actually going to interact with this person. Some of you might have this opportunity because, um, again, this is like, a handful of you but I really feel like it's more about realizing something from your past about an old relationship like a really old relationship uh there's something about that that's coming up for you like I said I don't even think you're going to be interacting with them I think it's a realization or some kind of like purging that needs to come up here Sag they need to face that maybe something you you thought you dealt with that you didn't deal with but it feels like a really old very very significant romantic relationship here um years years were put into this person years were put into this relationship there's something there you need to heal and address why do my sagis need these crystals for the month of december 
Why do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of December? Okay. Why do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my Sagis need these crystals for the month of December? I'm seeing the Knight of Wands, and that is your court card here. I think you're just really in your energy, Sag, which is beautiful. I'm surprised no cards want to come out for you. Um, I feel like you're about to take on something really awesome here. It, it does feel like a blessing. It does feel like it's something very positive. It does feel like a blessing, but maybe there's some challenges that you need to kind of overcome in order to be able to handle this blessing here, okay? Why do my Sagis need these crystals? Why do my Sagis need these crystals the month of December? Wow, I can't believe they're not giving me any cards yet. Yeah, you're having trouble receiving something, Sag. It's something beautiful and it's something that you'd want. It's something you've you've honestly been hoping for. But now that it's here, there's there's some there's some kind of like little hesitation within you um, that you need to address. Oh, and there's the looking at it. Yeah. So we have Emperor, Aries energy, Taurus, it's also Mars, uh, Nine of Wands, Saggy energy, Page of Pentacles, and then we have Queen of Swords in reverse. So Libra energy could also be air or water here. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, so between this emperor and this queen of wands, there's a lot of tension, okay? There's a lot of tension, but there is an offer coming forward, but there's a lot of like wounded warrior energy here. Like I said, this is where the healing is coming in that really needs to be addressed. Really, really needs to be addressed. I feel like this emperor is making an offer to a queen of swords who's not exactly in the mode of receiving. Yeah, it's about receiving. Sad, you need to heal whatever happened in the past and whatever happened in the past to put you in a state of not understanding or knowing or being comfortable receiving, okay? Um, it feels like so, it feels like a very genuine offer. It feels like a very, very genuine offer here with the Page of Pentacles, very solid, very solid. And it's coming from an emperor. You're, you, yeah, I can feel it. You're kind of like, uh, like, <laughs> like you want it, but uh, like you're, you're, you're holding back. You're holding back. You don't know how to receive this. Any other uh, messages for my Sag using these crystals? Page of Wands. Yeah, it's very positive. It's good news. It's something you've been hoping for, but you don't know how to receive it. Why do my Sag using these crystals? For the month of December. Overall energy. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Jupiter energy. It's what you've been wanting. It's a blessing. Quite literally, it's a blessing. Underneath that, oh wow, look at that. Moon in reverse with the Knight of Pentacles. It's a blessing. It's solid. It's stable. Some of you it is um, in the realm of career or business. Others, it's a, just a stable offer from a love interest or a family member. Um, it's something you've been wanting. It is something you've been wanting. For some of you where this is business, it's really going to help elevate you. you. You're not receiving it. Why are you having such trouble receiving this? Um, okay, I wanna look into why you're having trouble receiving this. I'm gonna use Gilded for this one. Why is Saji having trouble receiving this? Why are my Sagis having trouble receiving this? Why are my Sagis having trouble receiving this? Yeah, even the way you're looking at the Emperor, you're very guarded. You're very, very guarded here. Sagis, some of you are having trouble trusting this person, but I honestly, I feel like it's mostly because either you're in that group where it's relating to some significant relationship from the past and that's coming up with this offer causing you to hesitate, um, others though, it's almost like 
you don't trust them so much in accepting it, but mostly because it's like you don't trust you can handle it. Oh, that's interesting. But this emperor is very determined to give this to you. They know you deserve it. They know you deserve it, Sag. Why are my Sagis having trouble receiving this? The sun, it's it's happiness, it's freedom, it's joy. Why am I why am I Sagis having trouble receiving this? Why are my Sagis having trouble receiving this? <laughs> Knight of Pentacles, again. Whatever this offer is, it's something you've been wanting. It's something you've been hoping for. It's something that makes you really freaking happy. Why are my Sagis having trouble receiving this? Where's the trouble? <laughs> Show me the trouble. Why are they having trouble receiving this? Wow. Whoa. Over energy. We have the lovers. Gemini energy. Oh. Uh, well, the six of swords in reverse. Aquarian energy. Yeah, for some of you, this is connecting to that very significant relationship in the past. There's something you didn't get over. There's something you didn't get over, which is why it's hard for you to accept this. And like I said, it's just like a trigger. It's a trigger coming up that you have to deal with. Okay, that's for some of you. But others, I really feel it's an energy of like... I don't trust this offer really because I don't trust I can handle it. Some of you, that's definitely what it is, okay? But these two crystals will definitely help with that. That's gonna help with your confidence, help with your ambition, also help with trusting yourself and help with your own self-love. If you can trust yourself, it's a lot easier to trust people. But if you can't trust yourself, you can't trust anything, right? I think I've said that once before. But anyway, Sag, Aries, and Leo, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget to go on Patreon and Vimeo and, oh, and, and Instagram. I always forget, and Instagram. And I will see you guys later. Have a really great December. Namaste.